has been a long time we didn't discuss the signals because me and Angela are actually quite busy with the uh, auto trading service but it's more fair that we should actually talk about the signals they are doing actually quite very well uh, Angela has finally sent me the results uh, of uh, the month of May we can see it is actually very good results uh, first of May it was really good then May 2nd was bad and that is if we notice something all the loss was happened on the pound pairs as you can see so the pound pairs that day only was bad to trade but however Angela was able to recover we can see him fourth and fifth and uh, oh sorry fourth and seventh of May were actually very good it may also we have some problems uh, with the USD and the pound but in general we can see it's all uh, in profit we can see 14th May was amazing almost all of uh, the trades were in uh, winning positions and if I'm now scrolling you can pause the video and check the results yourself but most uh, of them uh, I would say about 70% ending in a very good profit we can see uh, 24th May was actually amazing not even a single loss uh, some losses happened and that is by the way very normal you are trading 50 or uh, 40 to 50 pips uh, per trade and it is normal to have some losses happening uh, every once in a while but in the end we are f thankfully we are able to recover we can see on 29th May uh, the results were very good even uh, 31 May it was very good actually so we can see that the results is doing very good and the signals and the premium service is doing very well and I'm very thankful and happy to see that we are now going to make uh, the premium sign uh, services even more enhanced by adjusting the number of signals and I will discuss this with, with Angela but the service is going very well and I'm very happy to the results please don't forget that you can contact Angela uh, you can find her uh, link in the description if you want to reach her to join the premium service and join Extreme Trader Signals. Very good morning, my friends. How are you? I hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. First of all, I wish happy Eid for everyone. I hope you guys have enjoyed your Eid holidays. Uh, I wasn't able to make any videos because I was very busy with the Eid uh, occasions with the family and friends and now we are back to the work so it's time now to make the analysis for the market and let's first check what happened in the previous week so in the last video I said for the Euro USD it's gonna go more up and hit this resistance level and if we check what happened this is exactly what happened actually the Euro USD uh, at the opening of the week uh, made a little bullish uh, uh, bearish reversal almost on the same point where I said that it's good to buy and then it shoot more up hitting this resistance level reached our target approximately 100 pips and it even went uh, more to break this previous resistance so let's check now what's expected to happen for this week now if we go to the daily chart what we are seeing here is very simple we can see that the euro USD has broke a strong actually resistance level this is the resistance zone if you want to draw it and therefore I believe the pair has reversed on the small rever uh, resistance here we have here a small reversal uh, sorry a small resistance uh, let's show it to you we have here a resistance and here as well so from my point of view the pair has reversed on this resistance and now after this break out of this of this resistance on this level it's going to actually make a retest now the retest will take a place I believe on the next candle it will just be a short one and I believe we can safely start buying the euro USD on let's be specific 1.13085 I believe it should be a good point for buying the euro USD and from there we can expect it to shoot more up all the way to hit this previous resistance level so again I believe the euro USD will continue rising more up 
and it okay let's be more safe let's be more accurate it's more safe if you keep your trade running until 1.14035 and you can place the buy on 1.13085 that could be about 9 between 93 200 pips of profit we can look for that but always be sure you are entering your trade at the right time and now let's check the GBP USD uh, last week I didn't really analyze the, UG, the GBP USD because it was not safe to enter and I believe it is still not safe but if we want to see what's, what's going on we see that this bearish momentum has actually stopped now and we have here another pullback but I don't think the pullback will stop yet uh, I believe it might continue to go a little bit more up to hit this resi uh, resistance level before it start to go even more down now there is something here uh, the pound is still uh, not safe to trade uh, by the way because of the news of uh, Theresa May's resignation I believe it is now already active I'm not really following the the news for Theresa May recently I was busy but <laughs> I believe uh, she said she will her last day will be like on 7th or 8th June and I believe it's already happened maybe July I need to check something hold on yeah I just checked the news it was indeed 7th uh, June her last day and therefore uh, the pound may be not be safe to trade but if we want to see it from technical view from technical view I believe that the euro the pound USD is about to rise more up because what we are seeing here that there is a resistance and we see this last day candle has closed as a full bar breaking this resistance zone here we have so most likely what's what's gonna happen now that the pair will go a little bit more down hitting this previous support here and then it will shoot more up it might even go a little bit more up until hitting this previous support that is a possibility because we also see on the left if my eyes not tricking me exactly we see here that there is a resistance level and here as well and even here it was a resistance and it was a strong support in the past so most likely from technical view this support level here is strong and the pair has actually made a bullish momentum above this support and the pair might go a little bit more down to the same level of the support and then it should go more up I believe it should hit this support level yeah, this previous support level here that is if there was no sudden news or any unexpected news on the pound during this week we have to be extra careful when we trading any pound pairs because there is a lot of news coming right now for the pound so let's now check the AUD USD okay for the AUD USD let's check the last week uh, video what I said for the last week that the pair will make a bullish uh, bullish momentum and this resistance is going to be breaking out and the pair will reach this resistance level I believe this is exactly what happened we have here this resistance as I said the pair is going to break from this resistance and will continue to go more up until hitting this previous another resistance exactly what happened and I'm happy to see the results now it's time to see what can we expect from the pair now we have here on this uh, level another support just be more accurate right here okay what we have here is a support and this support uh, has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle now we can see that if we apply hit and run rules on the daily chart this support has skipped the position as a support most likely uh, the AUD USD will make a sudden move or actually it will make a um, immediately a bullish uh, move and it might actually continue to go more up until hitting this previous resistance and if we want to see how many pips we are looking for about 65 pips of profit but actually this is uh, depending on our entry point so let's check the four hour chart indeed we can see this resistance has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle and now we have here a red candle appeared and this price action on the four hour chart this one indicating that the market actually 
might go a little bit more down but not so far I believe not so far we can place our buy right on this previous resistance here we have here this level it was a support and now here it is a resistance so I think it is gonna be safe that we can place buy on let's be accurate on one, uh, 0.69818 and then we can keep the position all the way until hitting uh, this resistance here right here so again we can place our buy on 0.69818 and keep the position until 0.70596 and that could give us about 75 pips of profit now let's check the USD CAD which have faced uh, some movements on last Friday and again I want to be cl uh, clear with something just one second hold on okay before we do that uh, let's see uh, let's see what I predicted for the last week I predicted that the euro the USD CAD will actually continue to go more up following this trend line and then it should go all the way to hit this previous resistance however we can see that the pair has actually moved the way too much down there is a reason for that uh, give me one second I will show you one, I, I, one second only so here we have uh, the calendar news for what happened on last Friday June 7th uh, 4 30 p.m. my local time Dubai time we can see that there was some really major news uh, high impact news hit the pair for the CAD and the USD as well unemployment change un unemployment rate uh, for both the USD and the CAD which has actually led for this very strong bearish momentum about 100 pips not momentum sorry movement so I believe this in this movement was only due the news it doesn't mean that the pair will continue to go more down I think that the pair now seeing the weekly chart we can expect that the pair will continue to go more down so we have to predict here something the pair will indeed continue to go more down but not for quite long time because we are now on a strong support level we can see here we have a strong support and this support has become a new resistance now we cannot really do much for the pair this movement again I'm telling you it was only based on the high impact in news it doesn't mean uh, necessarily that the pair will continue to move more down but however we have to be uh, careful I believe the pair might actually move a little bit more down until hitting this previous support here and then it can continue to go more up uh, the pair is not really safe to trade at the moment we can hold the position okay let me tell you something let's be more safe if you want to be extra safe actually you can wait for the USD CAD to fall more down until 1.31927 uh, and then from this point because here you have a support as well this level of support was also a strong resistance and even here it was a strong resistance not only that but it was here also acting as a very strong support uh, I believe these two are a fake breakouts and therefore this support should keep the position and we can actually look for uh, buying the USD CAD on this point and again keep the position it should actually continue to go more up I don't think it will go uh, it will go down at this moment now let's check the USD GPY for the USD GPY however um, I mentioned that the pair will actually face a strong support on this level sorry on this level right here and that is exactly what happened uh, the pair is still facing a strong support and now as the price is ranging on this level now let's check what I have said for the last week uh, last week I said that the pair indeed will reverse on the support level but what's going on it is indeed reverse but now still ranging however I think that the pair is still uh, gonna move more up we're seeing a lot of rejection on this support I don't think it will uh, break from this level it might actually continue to go more up until hitting this previous support and from this level it might actually continue to go and fall more down however we have to be careful for uh, this pair for this week it's facing a lot of pressure here and still there is a possibility 
that it will continue to go more down. However, I want to say that the USCGPY is really not safe for trade. The reason is I really hate entering a trade on a ranging level. The ranging level, meaning that there is, if you want to uh, make some drama, you can say that it's a battle between the bulls and the pears. Bears, not pears. Pears. Okay, so the point is you don't want to stuck in this battle between the market makers and therefore I believe we have to wait and see what will gonna happen then just to swim with the flow uh, again the USDGPY from technical view is supposed to actually go more up until hitting this previous uh, support but however it's more safe if you just wait and hold your position until you see what's gonna happen there is also a possibility that the pair will just make a small uh, bullish movement and then continue to go more down and that is exa uh, that is actually what might happen so we have to be careful and again we have to wait and it's better if you just avoid trading the USDGPY for the meantime uh, the last one will be the USDCHF which I have said that the pair let's uh, see my analysis from the last week I said that the pair will actually go a little bit more up hitting this previous resistance and then it's gonna go and fall more down that is what happened but the pair didn't go a little more up it actually started shooting uh, directly down we can see that uh, this was the opening candle the pair barely made any movement up uh, hitting this previous uh, support and then it started falling more and more down now let's see what we can expect from the USDCHF for this week. Uh, if we want to analyze the USDCHF, we can see that it is now stucking. It is now stuck actually on this previous support. We have here a support, and it was also a strong support, and here as well it was a strong support. Then we have this bullish breakout. Now after this bu uh, this bullish breakout, bre breaking out all these support attempts, we can see that the pair is indeed now bouncing on the support level that's why i believe that the pair most likely is gonna go more up uh, to hit this previous support level but however we have to be also careful because this bearish momentum is quite strong it's really hard to predict uh, for the USDCHF and the USDGPY, both of them, because the USD is making really strong bullish, uh, sorry, bearish uh, momentum. The movement is quite strong, and therefore, we have here that the pair, we have the pair has reached its support already, and now, okay, let me tell you something. We have something here. The pair has indeed made the movement and bounced on the support level then we can see that there is a, a green candle closed here okay meaning the pair has actually went all the way up here and reversed on this resistance and then it made another movement and might actually continue to go more down in other words the retest has already been happened the retest on this previous uh, resistance we have here a resistance and we have here a resistance and also here we have a resistance and here as well and therefore we can see that the pair has touched this support level as I said before and went all the way up retesting this level and in the end it continued to go more down that's why there is a good chance that the USDGPY might actually continue to go more down uh, we can expect the pair to go a little bit more up Okay, I will give my final prediction. Uh, my, my final prediction, I think it is going more down. Uh, we can expect the reversal to happen on 0 0.98953, and then it will actually continue falling more down until hitting this previous support level. It is not easy to predict for the USDCHF, to be honest, but I believe this is what's going to happen. Um, everything is saying that there is continuation for this bearish movement on the USDCHF. So guys, uh, that was my uh, weekly analysis for the market. I hope it will be helpful for you so you can also analyze the market in your own way. And in the end, I would like to thank you 
for uh, no we have to say it correctly <laughs> i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching